The Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, is the executing agency for official development assistance, ODA, of the Government of Japan and contributes to economic and social development of developing countries and regions in pursuit of international cooperation. JICA operates in over 150 countries and regions. It assists with the various problems and issues facing developing countries on a global scale. JICA provides three types of assistance. Loan assistance, which is providing yen-denominated, low-interest and long-term development fund loans. Grant assistance is financial aid with no repayment obligation. It is for those basic building blocks necessary for national development, such as medical care, water supply, rural development and transportation. Technical Cooperation JICA assists human resource development and technology dissemination necessary for economic and social development of developing countries by dispatching experts and accepting the counterparts for technical trainings in Japan. JICA has achieved significant results for countries or regions that face a variety of issues by carrying out international cooperation in a flexible manner. The staff at JICA do work in a wide range of fields all over the world. Amid continually progressing internationalization, JICA also assists with airports, the gateways to the sky. Airports need to be run as composite facilities, with a variety of functions and services. They are much more than just buildings and runways. Most important of all is safety, user services, and satisfaction levels. JICA wants to make use of airport construction and operational technology developed by Japan throughout the world. Japan is an island country with a small land mass. Some areas have steep mountains, while others have plains. Domestic airports are built to meet geographical features of the local area. Various innovations and technologies are incorporated to achieve this. In mountainous Japan, all airports aren't just situated on plains, and some are built on the mountains. Hiroshima Airport is one example. It was built by cutting a mountaintop. It stands at a high elevation of 330 meters, where it gets foggy easily. This required use of the highest precision category 3B automatic landing system to decrease flight cancellations. Runway D at Haneda Airport was built to increase takeoff landing capacity to accommodate more international flights. A pile supported structure was utilized in combination with the conventional land reclamation to make the world's first hybrid structure, which ensures river flow will not be impeded. When making the pile supported structure, First, steel piles approximately 80 to 90 meters long were driven into the sea. Then a basic steel construction called a jacket was fitted onto these. A single jacket is 63 meters by 45 meters wide and 32 meters tall. A giant pile supported structure or pier was built over the sea using a total of 238 jackets. 198 for the runway, and more for the connecting taxiways.
After the jackets had been fitted, concrete slabs were laid down, over which a runway was paved. Meanwhile, land reclamation started with improving the softer parts of the seabed. A number of sand piles two meters in diameter were placed in the seabed to make a hard layer of sand, after which the land reclamation work commenced. Then, the pile-supported structure and the reclaimed land were linked with flexible joints. Work like placing piles, which required height, was mostly done at night so as not to affect aircraft takeoffs and landings on neighboring runways A and C, which were proximal to runway D's construction site. Even at night, there were cargo flight takeoffs and landings, so an operational runway was switched between A and C, with construction taking place on the closed side. In particular, when attaching the jackets, work was possible during the day thanks to low-built crane barges designed specifically for this construction work. These efforts, plus cleverly calculated construction management, meant that construction of runway D, including land reclamation and the pile-supported structure construction, was completed in only three and a half years. The takeoff landing capacity of Haneda Airport has been significantly enhanced, and there are now approximately 450,000 per year thanks to the completion of runway D. The international terminal was also expanded as the number of international routes had also increased. This involved construction on a single floor while the terminal was in use, and special considerations were put in place so as not to disturb airport users. また造築したサテライト部分につきましては、その屋根の部分を工事するにあたりまして、トラベリング工法と言われるものを使用しています。これは何かと申しますと、天井を仕上げるにあたりまして、工事の足場、ステージを可動式で組みまして、ワンスパン
In order to make this happen, periodical inspections and repair work is essential. Airports use a lot of concrete pavement, in particular for the aprons. Repairs to correct roughness or flatness of pavement surface are usually done by replacement of whole concrete slabs, which requires a large amount of work. At Narita International Airport, the overlay method was used to mend the apron pavement. With this method, the damaged part of the concrete slab surface is removed a new concrete pavement is placed on it instead of redoing everything. Using the overlay method allows for the amount of concrete to be kept to a minimum and can help in reducing the construction period and costs. Waste, such as removed concrete, is also reused as construction material. あの、成田空港このエプロンこれを全て取り壊してもう一回作り直すとすると膨大なあのコンクリートの柄が出てきますね。まあこのコンクリートの柄を減らすということからあのオーバーレイ工法を採用しました。で、もう一つの理由ですけれども、でオーバーレイ工法を採用することによって、あの表面の部分だけの補修工法で済みますので、コストとしても大変あの従来よりも安くなったということが挙げられます。User convenience and safety are also very important factors in airport operation. For example, use of check-in counters has now become more efficient with the adoption of common use terminal equipment. Cute. A single counter can now be used for different airlines at different time periods. It's also easy to increase the number of counters when it's crowded with passengers, and with the BHS system, it makes this system extremely convenient for both passengers and airline companies. Flight Information Display System, FIDS, is one of the systems necessary for airports. Real-time flight information panels are installed wherever people gather inside the terminal and constantly update the passengers. This system contains many innovations to make displays more convenient such as the flight information displayed with universal font that people can clearly read. Providing the information in the right place at the right time is the key to serve the airport users well and win the customer's satisfaction. The baggage handling system, BHS, is also important to airport operation and its speed and accuracy affect the airport's overall evaluation. By applying the tracking system to follow each and every piece of baggage and with the detailed handling care by airline companies, Kansai International Airport has maintained its no-lost baggage record, earning it the commendation of people in the worldwide airport industry for 20 years since its opening. Kansai baggage handling system is Handling of passenger baggage is the responsibility of the airport operating company as well as that of airline companies.
Airline companies double check the sorting of baggage using a handheld scanner so that they make sure baggage is loaded onto an aircraft with no mistake. で、ガンで売って、で、この瓶で合ってるかをガンの表示画面で確認して、で、シール剥がして行き先瓶目合ってるかどうか確認してシールを貼ってから荷物を積み込んでいます。重たいものは下にやって、軽いものは上にやって、
It is important to eliminate human errors, which are the main cause of accidents. Sorting and setting in order of work tools is always practiced at Kansai International Airport as an important routine activity to reduce human errors. When it comes to handling hazardous aircraft fuel, one small mistake could lead to a fatal accident. Sorting and setting in order support safety and reliability of operations and avoid mistakes. We can also see this same approach in the staff uniforms. If you don't button up and tuck in the uniform properly, you may get caught in machinery, and not wearing personal protection equipment properly has the risk of serious injury. Furthermore, at critical points in work, the staff will call out, point to the work, and perform a check. In Japan, we call this the point and call method, it's widely used for dangerous work, such as work in factories and construction sites. The point and call is one way of predicting danger. Safety is checked by pointing at the work site with your finger and saying aloud the name of the task and what state it is in. It has been scientifically proven that this method of pointing and calling, instead of just confirming something in your mind, significantly reduces the rate of accidents. The aircraft refueling facility of Kansai International Airport has implemented sorting and setting in order and point and call for all of its processes so that operations do not cause errors in the work. Increasing customer satisfaction is one of the extremely important initiatives in operating an airport. That leads to increased airport revenue, including non-aeronautical revenues from passenger terminals and so forth. Narita International Airport runs various activities to promote customer service as part of its management vision, to achieve customer satisfaction by providing service that exceeds expectations. For example, the guidance staff is always ready at the information counter, and more, concierge staff respond to customer needs in a timely manner in various locations within the terminals using handheld tablets. Services are also offered in various languages using video phones. There are also various other services there to increase user convenience, including the provision of traffic information, floor signs so users can arrive smoothly at their destination, and free Wi-Fi. This is a language course for airport staff. There are even more activities designed to increase user satisfaction. There are opinion boxes placed in various locations in the terminals to collect opinions and requests from users. These opinions and requests are also posted by the customers to the information counters and web pages. These comments and demands are utilized as ideas for new services and airport operations. お客様の期待を超えるサービスを提供するということを絶えず実施していく必要があるかと考えております。例えばあのこちらにあるような日本文化紹介コーナー、毎日あの実施をさせていただいております。乗り継ぎのお客様、海外のお客様に、ま、日
Enhancing commercial facilities and opening attractive shops will also lead to increased user satisfaction. Services that satisfy the needs of people from different countries, such as restaurants with halal preferred menus, will also be provided. Users of the Haneda Airport International Terminal will also be delighted at the opening of unique commercial facilities. This will be done under the concept of Made in Japan, Haneda Only One. At Haneda Nihonbashi, users can find a faithful half-sized recreation of Nihonbashi, the Bridge of Japan, used as the point of origin when measuring journeys in Old Japan. There's something else unexpected for users to enjoy in the terminal, Edo Koji, the Edo Old Tokyo Alley, lined with shops selling traditional goods and wares and restaurants offering various Japanese culture experiences. There are all sorts of wonderful places to visit, like a planetarium restaurant and realistic flight simulators. Made in Japan no mono, Toshte, Nihonga Hokuri, Shokin to Bao Tenkaishi, only one of the city, only one of Shokin or Tenkaishi, Maseka Hashin Suruto Ita, and Elaiga Gozaimas. Yonkai to Gokai no Shogo Sets were Tanga Shogo Sets were not to say. Nihon no Bunka, a Gijitsu, the Hashin de Kiruba to Shet, a Mokirari to Rimas. Kono Yonkai Edo Koji, Nihon no Edo Jitai no Machinami or Saikin Shorimas, Kononaka or Sansak Surake, Nihon no Bunka, Gento in Kurete Itake de Kumas. For the company operating the airport, commercial facilities don't just provide customer service, but they are also an important source of revenues. Each airport in Japan is developing appealing commercial facilities to attract not only airline travelers, but also the general people to come and visit the airport for shopping or eating. Furthermore, Haneda Airport International Terminals have been designed using the principles of universal design so that all users can comfortably access the airport. Information counters cater to the needs of customers with disabilities. Beside the guidance in sign language using video phones, staff will also communicate with the pen tablet and there are floor guide brochures in Braille. Facilities within the terminals, such as toilets and elevators, are designed to be handicapped accessible. すべてのお客様に対して安心して羽田空港をご利用いただけるようユニバーサルデザインの考えを築くとしてより優しいターミナル作りにハートとソフトの両面で取り組んでおります。幸いにも多くのお客様より非常に使いやすい空港であるとあ
fuel cell powered forklifts are also being operated on a trial basis in the freight areas. This significantly reduces the CO2 emissions in comparison to conventional forklifts, which also contributes to a safer working environment. A significant feature of these forklifts is that a three-minute fill-up of hydrogen will give continuous operation equivalent to that of a conventional electric forklift. We are also working on further developing hydrogen infrastructure with measures such as introducing hydrogen stations and fuel cell vehicles. あの、関西国際空港ですが、ま、郊外のない地域と共存共栄するま、空港づくり。ま、こういった形でま、開港移行を用意してきたんですけれども、え、クリーンエネルギーとしまして、メガソーラーが現在2カ所、風力発電が小
it's not harmful to humans and this environmentally friendly titanium oxide photocatalyst is being used for different parts of various airport facilities. The Japanese self-cleaning product works under the room lights as well as sunlight. As it is an effective deodorizer, it is utilized in the toilet walls and floors of airports throughout the country. Emergency services prepared for aircraft accidents are an important element of airport operations to ensure safety at airports and are available at all airports in Japan. Japan has an airport rescue and firefighting training facility, the Education and Training Center for Airport Security and Disaster Prevention, where various ARFF field trainings are conducted using full-size simulators of aircraft accidents. For the purpose of training with different fire accident scenarios, the computer at the center controls the process from the onset of a fire until it is distinguished. It uses propane gas, which is easy to control. A large amount of water is necessary to extinguish the fires during training, so the water is collected and reused. やはりあの、there are various accident scenarios prepared for training at the center. In addition to firefighting training, there is training for other specific situations. For example, when a firefighter rescues passengers from a crashed aircraft. The training you see here is for a scenario in which a fire has broken out from a fuel leak when an aircraft is stranded on the side of a runway. In this training, there are no instructions from the instructor, so that the trainees must decide their actions for themselves. Where to park vehicles while the fire is burning, how to effectively use water keeping in mind the amount of available water, firefighting with a handheld hose. There's lots of things that trainees have to judge for themselves at the site. During the training, trainees play several different roles. They don't just practice fighting fires. They give orders and directions, rescue passengers, and give medical care. Trainees participate in a simulation of an actual accident and by making mistakes learn how to respond at the scene of an accident, which is valuable experience. The fires are controlled in the computer control room, with staff checking the training in real time. They observe the actions of the trainees and ensure their complete safety during the training. After the training has finished, the trainees receive guidance from the instructor, such as advice and warnings. Skills of trainees are developed by repeating the field training, thus increasing safety at airports. ここ
JICA is in possession of unique know-how relating to Japanese airport construction and operations, and we utilize this know-how to support airports overseas. One example of this is a project aimed to support Vietnam's economic growth. JICA provided a yen loan for the Noi Bai International Airport Terminal 2 construction project based on the agreement with the government of Japan in 2010. This project involved the construction of the Terminal 2 building, T2, with the handling capacity of 10 million passengers per annum and the development of related facilities. Facilities are completed and operation started in January 2015. As part of this project, in conjunction with construction of the new terminal and other facilities, JICA made a technical transfer for improvement of the passenger terminal operations and startup, operation, and maintenance of the hydrant aircraft refueling facility. As a result of the technical transfer, this airport was ranked first place in Skytrax's World's Most Improved Airports category. JICA is also assisting with the new Ulaanbaatar International Airport construction project in Mongolia. This project involves relocation of the current airport and construction of a new airport. Work is scheduled for completion in 2017. In conjunction with financial assistance in the form of a yen loan for Mongolia, JICA is conducting technical assistance to improve airport operation and maintenance and air traffic control services. So that's why also not only the investment, also we are getting the support by the JICA, which is the the design, airport planning, design, consulting, and construction as well. So also the reason we are here in JICA at uh, Narita Airport also we are participating uh, for the special training course for airport uh, operation start. So we are the technical staffs who get the uh, official uh, uh, training course and also we are sharing the, some knowledge and know-how and some experience from the Narita experts. JICA is also achieving significant outputs through assisting airport development and operation in various other countries, such as Laos and Myanmar. Japanese airports are situated on narrow and precipitous land masses and are set apart from main airports in other countries by their unique technology and polished service. We've introduced part of this today, but not everything. Underneath all of this flows Japan's long-standing ethos of showing consideration to others, our spirit of hospitality. JICA would like to utilize airport construction and operation technology and know-how unique to Japan for projects in other countries throughout the world. Expect to see great things from JICA support.